Hey, hello, welcome to Daddy and Daughter Electronics, where today we're taking a break from our clock and we're making a Lunchbox computer. You guys probably know Buzz Lightyear Hack to Affinity and Beyond computer from Maker Fair or Def Con or any conferences. This is one example of what we are doing today. This is one way that you can do it. You can attach the screen and the beagle bow to the lunchbox lid, or you can just mount it up so you can take it out. And that's what we're going to be doing with this dude. And it says minion plus minion equals chaos. It's so cute. Here's what you will need to build this amazing lunchbox computer. You'll need a metal lunchbox of some sort. It doesn't matter what kind it is. A beagle bone black. A ride keyboard, which is a projector's keyboard or a fabby keyboard, which you can get on Amazon. You'll need a 40 system screen, which is a 7 inch touch screen. You'll need at least 2 amp 5 volt power supply. What kind of connector is on that, Catherine? Is it a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter barrel connector? Yeah. You will need standoffs to mount the screen and the beagle bone onto the lunchbox. You can use the beagle bone black storage or you can use the micro SD card, which has to be class 10 or higher. You might want a USB hub. If you don't want to mount it to the lunchbox, you can always use something to mount it with. You can also use um, a smaller lunchbox, such as this Hello Kitty lunchbox, for your computer. But the keyboard won't fit. This is a 4-inch touchscreen, also from 4D Systems. If you decided to mount your computer to a Lexan or something similar, rather than just mounting it directly to the lunchbox, an easy way to mark the Lexan for cutting is just put your lunchbox computer on top of your Lexan, like I've done here, and then get a Sharpie and just mark around it. Like so. Now this will be slightly too big, so you'll want to cut it down by a little bit when you actually cut it. Now, as far as how you cut it, you could use a Dremel, or you could scratch it and then crack it. It's kind of up to you how you want to do that. Once you've cut your Lexan, you can go ahead and test fit it to your box. You should be able to fit it in each direction. And to make sure that you've got enough the corners off, just go ahead and see if you can drop it into your lunch box. If it fits nicely on the bottom of your lunch box, then it's trimmed enough. And you can go ahead and mark it for the screen. Now we're going to mark where the holes should be to drill for the screen to go. So what you need to do is you need to hold down this and Use an owl or a Phillips screwdriver. Twist until you make a mark on the Luxan paper cover thingy. And then we're going to go back and mark it. And you want to make sure that you go straight down and that you hold things in place. Nice. You could also use the dimensions from 4D systems for the mounting holes instead if you prefer to do it that way. All right, so now you're ready to put your standoffs in. Now, you don't have to use standoffs. I actually didn't have any the right size for my particular box. What I've done here is I've just put some number six screws in place, and I went ahead and fastened them to the board with two nuts. And make sure that it's long enough. So you can see I already put the beagle bone black on the back, and you want to make sure that this will give you plenty of clearance if you're going to install any capes which I probably will because this is going to be a hacking computer, so I'll probably have one of my XB capes on it. You want to go ahead and make sure you've left enough room for that as well. And once you're sure that you have everything set up, then you can go ahead and drill the holes on your Lexan.
So once you've drilled your holes, go ahead and check them, and then we'll install two more nuts on the inside, plus one nut on the outside to secure the Lexan to your screen and to your BeagleBone Black. So now I've gone ahead and I've test fit everything, so you can see I have two nuts on the inside of the Lexan, and then I have one nut on the outside. And it all looks just about right. So I can go ahead and remove the protective stuff on the Lexan if I want to, and go ahead and complete the build of our BeagleBone Black Lunchbox computer. Take your keyboard out of the box if you haven't already. So then you plug it in into this majig for the USB. Now we're ready to plug it in. So there you have it. That's pretty much the basic building of a Lunchbox computer. And also, if you want to add additional stuff, you can do that later. Don't forget to watch the trailer at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. One of our sponsors is Linux Forensics by Dr. Phil Polstra. Who's Dr. Phil Polstra? He's my dad. Bye. Do you have problems in school getting in trouble by the teacher for using electronics? Yes! I brought my tablet and got in trouble! Do you want to end those problems? Yes, I do! Well, you can with the all-new Lunchbox computer! And I always wanted one! <laughs> you can go to school and act like it's a normal Lunchbox, but inside it's a computer. Computer. You can get this product by calling the number up here, which is 188-888. Don't buy this. This is not a real product. 888. And if you call right now, right this second, you can get a free cotton ball.